you really pe did you people really think I wasn't gonna start this year off with doom seriously seriously did you guys not see it coming I'm Ultima Mantoid welcome to let's play PlayStation Doom also known as PSX Doom it was released in 1995 in November I believe two months after the Super Nintendo version was released the maps that uh, some of the maps have been changed. They're based off the Jaguar version, so that's one of the reasons I wanted to do this. Plus, there are additional maps to be had. Like, brand new maps that are exclusive to this, I think. I don't know if they're in the Jaguar version. I've never played it. But, this is the total conversion that's done for the PC, so I do have mouse. Yes! Anyway, um... Yeah, it was released by Williams Entertainment in uh, November of 1995, exclusively for the PlayStation. It had the ability to do multiplayer via a link cable and two PlayStations. So, and yes, it's, it also includes Final Doom, but I won't be covering the Final Doom maps. Uh, obviously. I'll explain that when we get there. They're terrible. Um, well, the quote-unquote Final Doom for PlayStation is terrible, so I'll explain that way further down the road. Anyway, let's begin, shall we? Of course, I'm going to be doing this on uh, Ultra Violence with 100% kills and secrets where possible. And I will be talking about the changes. Like, as you can see, there is no, um... There are no pillars here. So, that's the first thing noticeable. And every enemy is in this version, except for the Archvile. Hi there. I just have to get used to the uh, difference in the way that uh, Z-Doom, GZ-Doom displays things. And... and yes, this version, we have Doom 2 enemies showing up in Doom 1. That was a chain gunner. He was originally exclusive in Doom 2. But as you can tell, he clearly is in this version. And there's no uh, sound effect that says a secret has been revealed in this version. Of course, it's the hangar, so what do you expect of me? Another thing is that this version has special, unique lighting effects. And, oh, what? I missed it, really? And the, uh, paint elemental is in map one, which is kind of huge. Also, I have to kill all lost souls in this version to get 100% kills. So you guys that loved the fact, or that always wondered why I didn't kill them, I have to now. Of course, it's the first map, so it's not going to take me very long. The, the changes in this, they're subtle. There's nothing huge. I mean, you've got the two missing pillars in the, the, the starting room to the left there. And there's a chain gunner, which is kind of a big deal. And a pain elemental, which is a huge deal. Also, transparent walls. I don't think I showed that off, but eventually you'll see them more. The fact that there's a pain elemental here is kind of a, a kick in the butt, really. I mean, yes, he's in a narrow hallway. You can get in his face and keep him from doing anything, but... Outside of that, there's really nothing different. It does give you a taste for the new lighting effects, which is kind of nice. And you'll see more of those lighting effects later on as this progresses, so... The next map is the plant. Not the nuclear plant, just the plant. So, it has an auto-save. I don't have to worry about anything, which is kind of nice. But I will see you all in Map 2, not Episode 1 Mission 2 map to and uh just give you a quick show hang on pause yeah see it even says in the bottom map to so 
Anyway, I will see you all in Map 2. I'm Ultimate Mantoid, and this is Let's Play PlayStation Doom. Until next time, take care and have fun.